Hi everyone, welcome to my presentation for the Tower Building Design Competition by CTBUH. The topic this year was connecting the city, people, density and infrastructure. The problem identified by us is that carbon dioxide emissions are on the rise and by 2035 there will be an increase of around 50% production. And the main contrib contributor for the carbon dioxide production is the coal power plants because they account for around 40% of this carbon dioxide emission. Our solution to tackle this problem was to integrate the pollution producing factors and the pollution utilizing facilities. So basically our idea was to take incoming carbon dioxide fr from uh, coal power plant stations and the direct the flue gas which they produce towards a high-rise building which consists of vertical algae photobioreactors. Algae uses carbon dioxide, wastewater from nearby sewage systems which is abundant in nutrition, and finally sunlight which is abundant in the region and for which our architecture has been specially designed. The remaining algae is converted to ethanol due to high starch contents and then the fields are essentially redirected to the power plant creating a closed loop carbon cycle. So the advantages of algae is that they grow really fast, they don't require soil for cultivation, they use wastewater so they're not really wasting our water sources and they're utilizing wastewater. So they can survive in really harsh conditions, although inside the building uh, conditions will be optimized for the production of algae. Biodiesel shares similar advantages that algae does since it's renewable, it has a low carbon footprint, it's highly efficient, it's weakly flammable and non-toxic, its extraction costs very little and its ecological impact is practically none. Tall buildings were required because we needed huge amount of photobioreactors to absorb the high amounts of carbon dioxide generated from the power plants. Vertical farming was also found to be more efficient than open pool farming and uh, structurally our building used core wall and uh, concentric braces to resist lateral loads. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos, just subscribe to me. Cheers.